So today we are here in the anatomy department. So this anatomy department is very much near to one of the main hospital of our university. There are various interesting things awaiting for us. So let's get started with the video. Once you enter the anatomy department, it's a must for you to have the apron or the lab coat along with the gloves and mask. In anatomy department, the main subjects are, which are taught are normal anatomy and also topographical anatomy and pattern art. So these three subjects are conducted here in this department. So this is our anatomy department lecture hall. Here the anatomy lectures are mostly delivered here and few are in the university itself. So the lecture lasts for around one and a half hours or two hours and the timing of the lecture, it depends sometimes in the morning or in the afternoon or in the evening. This is one of the classrooms. There are various classrooms in our anatomy department. This is one of them. So our classes used to be conducted here in the classroom. So how the anatomy is taught? So I'd like to tell you guys that. First, we have a lecture of anatomy. So you have to study from the lecture itself. And once you come in the classroom, you have to clear your doubts and teacher will try to explain all the doubts which you, which you have. And right after that, you will be having exams. Three set of exams. One is Viva, one is uh, computer test and another one is on the cadaver. So before conducting the exam, teacher will be teaching you the topic on the cadaver uh, on the cadaver right after the completion of the theory part. So teacher will be teaching you in the cadaver. From there you can learn and also if you have any doubts you can uh, take the cadaver and then learn. You have, first you have to ask permission from the teacher so you can get the cadaver and then learn the practical aspects on the cadaver. This is how our practical class actually is conducted. Teacher will be standing here and a group of students of around 10 to 13 students will be standing around here. So any doubt you have, you can directly ask to the teacher. So it's very comfortable to get acquainted with the teacher. So he will be clearing all your doubts on the cadaver if you have a specific doubts. If you want to learn a specific organs like heart, liver and so on, so you can get it from the downstairs. There is a place where you can get the cadavers and every organs which you want to learn. So you can get a permission from the teacher and then you can get it and then learn on them. So this is another classroom of the anatomy department. In this, uh, in every classroom you will find a skeletal system as seen here. And also there, are also there are various charts from where you can learn the labelings and so on, which will make your learning process simpler. And also you will find the models of the heart, diaphragms and so on, which will also make your learning process easier. And also there is a LCD screen in the classroom where you can present your PPT or seminars because sometimes we are asked to prepare a PPT or a seminar for the class. So this is very helpful for that also. So here you can see the various models designed by the students. So this is a model of the nervous system. And also here you can see the various nerves of the face that they have depicted here in this model. So these models are specifically designed by the students. I am uh, Sukhanov Sergei, head of anatomical department in our university. My name is Madlen Nikolaevna Alekberova. My name is Alexander. I am a teacher of anatomy department. I have been uh, working at the department of human anatomy since 1996. We start uh, our general medicine English medium course more than 10 years ago. The anatomy department of our university will be one of my favorite departments. We have an amazing team of teachers who make the process of learning a unique experience. A lot of international students already graduated our university and now they are working like a specialist in their country. Since anatomy is one of the subjects which is introduced in the first two years of our course, it plays an important role in forming the base of our knowledge as doctors. The subject of human anatomy is complex but interesting. This is a basic subject, the basis of all medicine. We use two main approaches in uh, our examination of uh, human body structures. In accordance with our Russian approaches, we examine anatomy step by step. For example, at first bone skeleton, after then articulations or joints, after then skeletal muscles, visceral system, <coughs> nervous system and so on. 
systematic anatomy, anatomy step by step. And this department makes sure that each and every student is having the foundation which they need. We are having the both theory and practical classes. The theory classes are an open space for us where the teachers not only teach us but also provide an opportunity for open discussions, debates and clarification of doubts. And then we have the practicals in which every student get an opportunity to learn on cadavers. And uh, at the end, in the our course, we use uh, other methods uh, for uh, anatomy examination. It is uh, foreign approaches. In these approaches, uh, uh, we examine anatomy of different regions of human body. Head, after them neck, all structures of the neck. After them thorax, abdomen, and uh, upper and lower extremities. These amazing people and the department make sure that the students here are going to make excellent doctors in the future. This is a small museum which we have. There are various specimens, but I'll be seeing you guys about a few specimens. So that's it, you can have a look at our museum. So uh, in this specimen, uh, I, I won't be able to say everything about it, but uh, you can see the various glands are uh, leveled here. And here you can see the few nerves which are leveled and you can see the leveling out here. This guy was the professor of our teacher. So as our teacher, he said that uh, this is the heart of this professor. They have kept it here and they have preserved it very well. It is a very interesting fact to know for us as well. So in this museum they have stored uh, specimens of not only humans but also various animals. So it's a specimen of frog, uh, rat and cat. So you can see here it's a digestive system of the those animals. So here you can see the development of the baby teeth or the milk teeth which you can see. So they have dissected here. It's very interesting one. So this baby, uh, it has uh, its vertebral column is interrupted in between and then from there the spinal cord it exits out and then it, it gets fused with the skin. So it's very interesting one so I felt like sharing with you guys. And here in the another one, uh, this baby, its axial skeleton is completely, I mean it's not there. Like you can say that the vertebral column is completely missed in this uh, baby. So here you can see a baby with the two head which are known as the bicephalic. So there are a few specimens where you can see babies with a two head. So here you can see the bones of the various upper limbs and so on. They are fixed it here and also there is one more interesting one. There you can see the vertebra of the well. It's a huge one. So you guys can see it, how interesting it looks. So here you can see a few more models of the skeletal system and skulls and everything and all that. It's impossible to say about each and everything here in this museum so let's conclude with this about this our small museum i hope you guys liked it so let's go to the next part of this video next we'll be going to the top in our department which is situated in the third floor so let's go Right now we are here in the third floor which is a topographical anatomy department, top anatomy department. So in this department we are taught about the various surgical procedures and the topography of the anatomy. This subject it basically starts from the fourth semester of second year and the final exam is conducted in the end of the fifth semester of the third year. Behind me you can see the various surgical instruments out there. So in this department we learn about the various surgical instruments, their importance, their uses and so on. And also we learn about the suture in this department. In the final exam you will have to demonstrate each and every uses of the surgical instruments. It is very much important for one to learn about the various equipments and also their importance and the uses of those equipments. So 
I hope you guys liked our anatomy department. This is all about anatomy department. In future, we'll be coming up with more videos about the different departments. So till then, see you guys in the next video.